so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. What are we going to do today? We are going to create a highly requested, highly, highly, highly requested video uh, by you guys, obviously. That is my everyday very natural makeup look. So actually, I wanted to give you a backstory about this. So whenever I upload a picture from my office and everything, so you guys just always DM me or always comment that uh, oh my god even after I put so many products your skin is getting actually very natural I'm here to share all my secrets with you and how to get that snow makeup makeup look and uh, so yeah I will just start in a bit but before I uh, jump into the tutorial I just want to tell you one thing that to those trolls who are just getting ready to type out some nasty comments by saying that oh my god you are putting so much makeup and so many products and you are calling it a no makeup makeup look you are such a hypocrite guys please act smart it's not about like putting many products uh, it's like the goal is achieving that flawless uh, natural look even after putting that much makeup so basically if you have skills so you will uh, look like that you are just wearing your skin that's it okay so don't do that you don't really uh, sound very smart if you are coming for me so yeah uh, that's just it so let's just jump right in first step about uh, the prepping that best that you need to prep your skin of course and uh, on a regular basis what I do is like my I wash my face and then I just apply some moisturizers now guys uh, whatever products I'm going to show in this video you do not really require exact those products I will be giving you options can create this look uh, with whatever you have with you or whatever suits your skin type so don't you worry about that so first I need to prep my skin and on a daily basis what I do is I mix a custom concoction of these three products uh, sorry <laughs> these three products so this is the middle one is my favorite 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 lotus uh, sunscreen gel this is uh, SPF 50 and this one right here is another favorite uh, and it has like SPF 30 in it uh, the vitamin C skin lightening gel from Aroma Max because uh, it is like end of December and there is a little wintry feeling in Mumbai I just need some little heavy moisturizer so I apply uh, this one as well so what I do is I just take uh, one one dollop of each product and just mix them and apply it so I am not really going to show you that step because uh, I have already prepped my skin today for this video with this one, the simple uh, moisturizer only. By the way, this is an amazing product and it has actually SPF variant also. So if you want to pick that up, you can. Uh, and uh, today I'm not really going anywhere. So I did not really put any sunscreen for that much. But something that really necessary that you do not skip your SPF, rather be it uh, summers, rather be it like peak winters or it like peak monsoons, do not skip your sunscreen. Okay. After moisturizing my skin, what I do is I nourish my under eyes as well and for that I use this uh, under eye cream or gel you can say. This is something that I picked up from Amazon and it's a company called uh, Pride Wellness. Now guys, I was just going through and browsing like I was just literally doing some window shopping and uh, this one actually appeared on my search and it retails for really low price. I think some... 125 or 150 bucks so i thought that why don't i give it a try now the reason i put under eye cream before i put my makeup that i have really fine lines over here and those uh, tend to crease immediately i put my foundation so what i do is it has actually a very nice jelly like consistency and it does not let my under eye crease for a very long time so i'm really really impressed with this product so what I do is I just apply it right under my eye. If you want to try out this product, I would suggest that you do. However, I can't really tell if it does anything to my dark circles because I feel that I don't really have like dark circles. And also I have started using YP Plant Remedy. That has actually helped me a lot with my under eye dark circles, whatever I had. Uh, by the way, I have actually done an in-depth tutorial uh, with the YVP Plus Remedy which I will link up here as well as in the bottom bar. As I just said our skin is already prepped and primed so I'm just going to move into directly to my foundations and uh, first I am going to show you something that this is the Wet n Wild foundation. Uh, this is a really great foundation but I like to 
use it as my concealer the reason being this foundation is not an exact match to my skin uh, this is in the shade called classic beige and uh, I have fair skin but I have like warm undertones and this one is has like cool uh, peachy kind of undertone so it does not really suit my skin however I have noticed something that I have little bit dark circles over here and uh, like this scar mark over here and this like little red uh, pimple patches or pimple marks what it does is like it covers them beautifully if you have those kind of problems you can go for a uh, uh, full coverage concealer which has this peachy and salmony undertone because peachy and salmony undertones are actually going to cancel out like pink and reds on a fair skin tone and if you have like really dark skin with dark circles and dark patches then go for an orange color correct okay so what I do is I just take it on the back of my hand now I have a tendency to drop my foundation and my makeup on my uh, <laughs> so yeah i have a tendency to uh, drop my foundation on my clothes so recently i have started this habit that i always scoop out foundation or makeup product on the back of my hand so that i don't ruin my clothes yeah so what i'm going to do is i am just going to apply it on the areas where i want to conceal first and that means on my scar Here, I have a little bit of pigmentation here as well. Then, <clears throat> I apply it right under my eyes as well. I will tell you why I do that first. Let me just blend it because this foundation tends to set uh, quickly. So, I just don't want that. Now what I was telling you guys that why I like to put uh, this uh, foundation right under my eye as my concealer before I apply my foundation because uh, if you do that like if you put your concealer first and over that if you put your foundation it's going to give you a much more natural finish. Okay, so we are done with our concealing now I will move on to my foundation. The foundation I use on a regular basis is not a full coverage and my skin has started getting dry if I apply those hardcore uh, matte finish full coverage foundation. Recently I have picked up this foundation from Physicians Formula. Oh my god guys I mean I am in love with this foundation. It's gives me such a dewy and healthy kind of glow so this foundation deals for 1200 bucks you will get it on Nykaa, you will get it on Mintra and you will get it on Hawk Makeup as well I think I have picked up mine from Hawk Makeup and I'm in the shade called uh, MW2 and this is the, uh, the healthy foundation with SPF 20 but the only and only drawback with this foundation is the applicator it comes up with. I don't really like this kind of low coat applicator. You tend to waste like a lot of product as you can see like there is a like build up of yeah there is a build up of this product which I am not going to apply but I can't really apply on my face so that way I am just going to end up wasting so much product. So again I just take it on the back of my hand first and then I'll just apply it. Now I'm done applying my foundation and uh, on daily basis my skin if it looks like really nice and flawless I don't really uh, do much after this but today particularly my um, uh, this place around my mouth and uh, like uh, my under eyes are not doing really good so I'm just going to conceal them a little bit uh, and for that I am using this wet and wild uh, photo focus concealer this is an amazing concealer by the way and really uh, budget friendly also what I do is I just apply like tiny 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 and I'm going to blend it thoroughly now we need to set my base very quickly and for that I use uh, this Maybelline Fit Me compact powder on a regular basis. I don't really use loose powder on a regular basis. 
because uh, when you are actually uh, going to wear this makeup for a really long time and you're going to travel you're going to work you know that you're going to sweat or like going to get contacted with dust and pollution and everything so if you put too much powder like too much setting powder on your face it tends to get caked yeah. up especially i have oily skin and i have noticed this problem if i sweat too much then my setting powder tend to get uh, cakey very quickly so what i do is i just take a fluffy brush and uh, take like generous amount of product and then apply it on the under eye area and i'm going to apply it all over my face as well but if you have dry skin you don't really need to do that now i know that you can still see my uh, freckles and my pimple marks uh, but that's the whole point guys i don't really like to conceal or like put full coverage foundation on a regular basis on my skin now next uh, step what i'm going to do is i am just going to fill in my brows and recently i have started using eyebrow powder and i am obsessed with how soft yet very polished look uh, eyebrow powder can give you for my eyebrow powder what i do is i take this profusion face palette and this is like a complete palette you have uh, like everything right here so what i do is i just take uh, the eyebrow powder from here if you want to use like eyebrow pencil that is also okay And next I'm going to set my brows with some kind of eyebrow gel. Now this step is uh, completely optional. If you don't have uh, any need of like eyebrow gel, you can totally skip this step. Uh, but I have like really droopy brow hair. So I just like to set my brow with some kind of eyebrow gel. And here for that step, I am using this uh, Krylon eyebrow gel, but you can use actually mascaras as well. I have showed how you can use mascaras uh, for your eyebrow gel. So just go ahead and watch my videos and we'll learn. Now the next step are uh, rest of our face that we need to contour and uh, apply some blush. For my contour or like for my bronze, what I do is I use this bronzing powder from this NYC Sun and Bronze. You can see how beat this product is. But guys, like I have already touched the pan as well. So, but I just purely love this bronzer. It gives you a very nice uh, natural finish. Though it is a powder product. Does not really uh, give you that ashy kind of effect. If you want a good powder bronzer, you can go ahead and check out those position formula uh, bronzer, those details for 1200 as well. If you want a good budget friendly option, uh, you can go for watermelon bronzer as well as a rimmel bronzer. My nose, what I do is I take this kind of slanted brush and just lightly contour it. So our bronzing slash contouring is done. Now what I'm going to do is we are going to apply some blush and uh, for that I'm going to show you uh, products. So these are the, like these two color creams from the company called YBT Cosmetics. Now uh, in order to achieve that really nice uh, fresh looking skill like effect, it will be good if you can switch to cream products. But I understand that India is a really humid country and even uh, in this peak winter there are some places where you can't really at all such as Mumbai. I would say that you go ahead and purchase a cream product which applies like a cream but settles down as a powder and these two are like brilliant for that. So what I do is I just going to take uh, one tiny teeny drop of this color gem. These are like insanely pigmented okay so you really need to be very very careful if you are uh, working with them and I'm just going to mix it with uh, Another drop is this color. By the way, this uh, color is called Witch. This is a very good color for medium to dusky skin tone as blush and as bronzer. And this one is called Princess. This is like a, a very nice bright pink shade and very good for fair skin tone as a blusher. I'm going to mix these two colors because it just gives me that nice peachy pinky uh, blush tone and I like warm it up a bit with my fingers and just going to apply it on my 
face I am just going to blend it with my fingers you can blend it with your uh, wet makeup sponge also but these are not going to blend very well with the brush so that's just uh, something that I wanted to tell you guys and oh my god just look at it it's just going to give you the nice very nice flash of color like your skin is looking very healthy yet very polished the beauty of this product is like it gets warmed up with your skin heat and just like sits there for all day long and once you lock it in with some good makeup spray you are good to go okay so blush is done now i know these two products retails for 1200 each though right now ybp is having a sale and you can get these for 840 bucks uh, which is actually kind of expensive i wouldn't deny that fact. so a budget friendly alternative of these two can be the lakme 925 uh, lip and cheek tint those are really good and pigmented and you can actually go for the nika lip and cheek tint as well but the nika ones they do not really stay for long especially when you are applying on your cheeks it just vanishes after three hours max so i don't really like those uh, but Lakme 925 uh, lip and cheek tint are really good and they have like variety of colors you can play and choose from them okay so now we are moving on to our highlighter and for that again i am going to pick up this uh, goddess from the ybp cosmetics again you guys know i am really like really obsessed with this one and even if you don't want to go for the other color creams guys please like please invest in this one you will thank me later i know i have always say good things about this one i believe that every girl should have this one in their kitty what i have done is i have taken a tiny teeny drop on the back of my hand can you see okay and just going to warm it up the same process and going to apply it uh, on the uh, areas where i usually put my height So our face is almost done moving on to our eyes and our for our eyes it's like very 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 simple what i'm going to do is i am going to take this palette this is the eye sorry uh this palette this is the i love makeup chocolate elixir palette from the makeup revolution one and uh, let me just show you guys this is a beautiful palette with a like pretty damn huge mirror this is a very good palette you can see it's a pretty huge uh, palette with all those nudes pinks browns and uh, the shimmer shades now people say that this is actually a good view for anastasia beverly hills modern Access palette and uh, it retails for i guess 14 to 1500 bucks but you can always get them on sale from hawk makeup so what i'm going to do is yeah so i'm going to mix this shade and this shade right here i am going to just throw them very lightly on uh, my crease with a very uh, fluffy fluffy brush this next uh, i am going to add something very really interesting on my eyelids now this is the wet and wild uh, color icon palette and this is in the shade uh, called comfort zone let me just show you guys this palette right here and i am going to apply this shade it looks like very intense on the palette but it has a very nice brown to greenish bluish kind of dual shift so it looks lovely on your eye when you are applying it with your fingers just look at it guys such a pretty shade so the upper lids are done now moving on to the lower lids what i'm going to do is i am going to take a fluffy brush and i'm going to dip into this uh, top shade right here i'm just going to lightly uh, blow out my lower lash line now if you are someone who doesn't really like to put shadows on your lower lash line you can totally skip this step but i personally love 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 to uh, blow out my lower lash line I wanted to show you something like some options when it comes to this palette now i know it's a very nice and good palette but if you don't want to invest uh, that much money 
the like really good alternative will be this palette from Nicole uh, Wet n Wild, the color icon comfort zone palette. And the bang on you for the Makeup Revolution one can be the other variant of the Wet n Wild uh, color icon rose in the air palette. I mean, uh, let me just open it and show it to you. Just look at the colors, guys. Like. It's a very compact and useful palette and you will get whatever you need uh, with this one like on a regular basis but if you just want to amp it up a little bit more then I would suggest that go for this one as well. These two, uh, each one I think retails for $3.99 or $4.99 but guys you will always 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 get them on discount. We um, are moving on to our uh, lashes and obviously on a regular basis I don't really use uh, first lashes and I'm just going to curl them and apply some mascara and I am going to uh, coat them generously with this new purchase of mine uh, this mascara is called Zoom and Wush from Colorbar but I'm generally trying to figure out a good alternative from Maybelline mascaras because you guys know I'm obsessed with Maybelline mascaras but Maybelline is not a cruelty free brand so I'm trying really hard to find a good mascara brand which is budget friendly also cruelty free and Colorbar is cruelty free take care of our lips and we'll be good to go now with this makeup look you can literally put on any lipstick of your choice you can go with pinks, you can go with reds, you can go with browns, you can go with nudes but I am going to show you something that I blindly that is this uh, NYX liquid suede uh, lip color this is in the shade called uh, soft spoken. Now, whenever I'm in doubt that what kind of lip should I wear, I don't think about anything else and I just blindly go with this one and I just put it on and I'm just good to go. It's a bang on dupe uh, with the MAC uh, Velvet Teddy. So if you have a full size or even a mini size of that one, you don't really need to go with this product. But I really like the formula of this one rather than those uh, MAC lipsticks. So I'm just going to show you a swatch. It's a very nice dusty uh, pink nude and this is like very good for my skin type however it actually uh, washes off like darker skin tone so this is not a good nude for darker skin I will link uh, a good nude lipstick for darker skin tone in my description box right now I don't really have one in, in front of must check my description box anyway I have going to list all the products I have used here in my description box so just check that out okay so that is it with my uh, lipstick. Now I am going to use uh, something extra, something uh, that I have recently purchased. Lip gloss from Nykaa. Now this is uh, in the shade called Honey Boo. This is how the gloss looks. And it actually looks like pink but you can uh, top it off with some brown and uh, like more lipsticks as well. It, it goes beautifully. So what I do is. I just apply it on the middle of my lips now this is something that you need to uh, remember when you are working with gloss do not put it like all over your lips especially like all the way from the edges because gloss no matter how good the formulation is it tends to melt uh, because it is going to heat up with your skin heat and it's going to spray it or like bleed and it doesn't really look good and also you are going to stuck your hair if you are like uh, having like your hair open and you are going to eat food so it is going to uh, wear off pretty soon. Just apply it only and only middle of your lips because as I am talking you can see that my lips are doing like this and it is going to get sprayed. So that way you will uh, save it for a longer period of time. So that was just a bonus tip. Uh, to set my face off I am using this Faces Canada uh, setting spray. Now this is a very average product but if you want a good good like really good uh, setting spray in your budget you can go for the wet and white variation you can go for the next variation they have like a matte finish and a finish one finish one is amazing if you have dry skin 
and uh, yeah so what i'm going to do is i am just going to apply it uh, like little bit on my face and by the way in case in case you uh, go ahead and purchase this now that's something that i have like noticed with this one if you are putting eyeshadow and then you are spraying it all all over your face it, it tends to crease your eyeshadow in a very bad way so what i'm going to do is i am just going to save my eyes and then just put it all the rest of my face very 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 good care of your skin now i know that it might sound cliche and you might be like rolling your eyes but uh, even like doing your regular cleansing toning moisturizing routine can make your skin like glow okay it can actually make that health benefit difference so please 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 take good care of your skin and drink plenty 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 of water even if it is winter or and sleep for at least 7 to 8 hours and your skin will do good and apart from that i know we all have those nasty uh, acne breakouts but for that honey we have concealer okay so don't you worry but <laughs> what i mean to say is that take a good care of your skin and it will benefit you in the longer run So okay, so that was it, and I am going to wind up this video. I hope I did not make it too long. I really struggle with that, like all the time. Anyway, so if you like this video, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Take care, bye bye.